We're here today to talk about the new word of Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by 7 Days and sponsored by Hotel Vermont and New England Federal Credit Union. My name is Ava Solberger. We are down here in Burlington at the waterfront at the Lake Champlain Ferry Dock. And behind me is 260 feet of wall. Over the span of three days, it's being covered in art by over 30 artists from Vermont and beyond. This is Above the Radar. Yeah, and yell, bring it on back, bring it on back, just bring it on back from the underground. We just thought it would be amazing to bring something like this to the Burlington area and let people see that this is an art form, you know, that graffiti's got more to it than just a bunch of kids with rattle cans. We are at Above the Radar, which is the first international graffiti festival in Burlington, Vermont, and probably, definitely the biggest graffiti wall in all of Vermont. Oh, we have top-notch artists from all over, all different styles and uh, backgrounds in graffiti, but all working towards one common goal. Painting a 260-foot wall with over 30 artists from all over the Northeast, Montreal, New York, Boston, Connecticut, New Hampshire. Hey, we have fun up here, man. Much love. Make some noise for the kids, for these guys out here breaking. Everybody's out here, man. All races, classes, genders. This is beautiful. I'm very proud to be a part of the first jam. Oh, it's phenomenal. I mean, everybody's great. Everyone's getting along. The whole shuffling of scaffolding and lifts and everything. You know, it's it's really working out good. You know, there's a lot of good people here. Weather's been great. Yeah, hey, yo, bring it on back, bring it on back, just bring it on back like never before. Yeah, yo, we bring it in back, 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 back. back. Graffiti, you gotta understand, it's an art form that's well over 40 years old now. It's been around for a very long time. Graffiti has grown up just as much as the artists that practice it. Graffiti is a very stigmatized art form. It's definitely misunderstood a lot of the time. All the stigmas that's been attached to graffiti and street art, like a lower property value, it brings crime, that's all BS. And we really want people to kind of see it and realize it's the biggest global art movement right now. It is modern art. It takes events like this to you know, to break the ice, you know, get people involved, that it really truly brings community together. From traveling around the country and going to things like this, so Art Basel in Miami, Art Factory in Connecticut, um, Under Pressure up in Montreal, these are all festivals that we've participated in traveling around met a lot of these artists by going to those events. You know, you got high crew from Connecticut, you got Montreal scenes out here, which is only a few hours away. So there's so much cultural coolness going on. With a project like this, it's not the same as doing a mural. This is 100% collaborative, real time, on the fly. We had no sketches required to be a part of our events. We expected that there was going to be this kind of magic that happens when you put all these people together and let them kind of just collaborate live. The collaborative aspect of it is what gets me jumping up and down because they're working together, they're overlapping, they're out there sweating it out because it's a hot weekend. Some of them have never worked together before or they might not even like each other's styles all the way, but they respect each other and that's what's really cool. Everybody here, yeah, you hear and you listening, you present. That means you're paying attention and the day's dividends comes to your attention and comprehension, reception and ascension. So. We're looking at aerosol art and um, it takes on many forms. A lot of people who do letters are also capable of painting characters. We have so many amazing artists working. You know, you've got, this is the high crew from Connecticut. They're all working together on this huge green Great Outdoors theme. Sarah Rutherford, who came back, she went to UVM and studied art and is back up here to work on the wall for the weekend, which I think is really cool. I did my name up here on the wall. It's the thing that us graffiti artists do. We make up a name and, and go with it. So uh, that's what I did. I did my piece. The 123 clan came down from Montreal. One of their friends passed away last weekend and they came down to do this tribute to their friend, which is on the wall. Actually, I'm doing a portrait of my wife. It's, yesterday was her birthday, so this is a belated birthday gift. She's a big reason why I'm here, so, you know, it's, it's my way of paying homage. I don't know anyone who's been able to achieve a high level of consistency with aerosol without putting in years of work. 
that's like anything that you're passionate about. You have to put the time in. A lot of book work and sketching to even get to the point where you're ready to go to a wall and try to spray paint something. Can control is what we call it. The more you do it, the better you get. There definitely are some tricks to the trade and a lot of us kind of learn things from these experiences where you get to watch somebody who's amazing and be like, oh, that's how they do that. And a lot of it happens when you're young and under bridges and evolves into this level. The art form and the products are evolving at a rapid pace. You know, it seems like every year there's a new paint company or a new technology that's allowing for better quality of what we do. Ant Hill is a group of artists working together to make things happen. We prefer to do large scale works, such as wall murals, interiors of restaurants, food trucks, things like that. But we also do canvas works, painted doors for Camp Tecumta. We host a monthly hip hop event and we just try to bring up the culture of other people uh, around us, DJs, MCs, break dancers, and try to keep hip hop culture alive. Burlington's original B-Boys. Burlington's an interesting town, obviously a lot of support for the arts, and as aerosol artists we've noticed when we're painting in public that if there's letter forms or anything that looks more like traditional graffiti, people say, oh look, they're doing graffiti, and if we do the same exact thing with the same colors and just do shapes or something, they say, what a beautiful mural. Burlington seems to want a lot more kind of safe murals is what I like to think of them. I mean, there's a lot of beautiful art in town, but this is definitely a little bit different, a little edgier. Yeah, when well, we're not a sleepy little city, we're a thriving, vibrant, growing city that's growing in new ways with technology and business and art. And so I think this really kind of screams it really loud. We wanted to try to do this here to show people and also break through to the next level of what Burlington Arts can be. Doing whatever we have to do as artists to keep this culture alive. From the Green Mountain State of the Beecher, bring it back to what just can't wait to rock with you in the midnight hour. Bringing you the words out there and the power. Do you want it? Want it? Come get it. Get it? We got it. Got it right here. That's right. Do you want it? Want it? Come get it. Get it? We got it. Got it right here. Come on. This is the first time this festival's happened here in Burlington, and who knows? It might not be the last and we will get stuck in Vermont with you again real soon. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. Sign up for our weekly email alerts. We started working with Jill Badalato when she was at dealer.com. She really is was the mastermind. Lake Champlain Ferry Transit. The spot on the dock that's right here. Local Color, which is the CSWD Recycled Paint Company. Benjamin Moore and the Vermont Paint Company. Cobra Paint, which is one of our supporters. Unknown Arts, Sticky Brand, like everyone in the community. Sonic Steve's Jambulance that's been here playing all weekend. Taco truck all-stars coming through and putting something spicy in our mouths you know everybody got it done